Hi everyone, this is Julia Doherty from Green Umbrella and today I'm going to be talking to you about a guest blog strategy. What do I mean by that? Well, you know, if you wanted to make sure that Google come back, comes back and indexes your website on a regular basis, put your teeth in Julia today, um, you need to make sure you're adding between 500 to 2000 words to your website every two weeks. Now that is actually quite a lot of content to put onto your website. And if you're creating that content yourself, you know, that's quite hard work. So enter a guest blogging strategy, let other people do it for you. It's a bit of a cheat way, but it works an absolute dream. Okay, so the sort of people you wanna do are really suppliers. So have a think about other people that supply your key target market who would like additional exposure to your audience. The good thing about that as well is that they're gonna share that content with their audience, which is also gonna be your target market. So it actually works quite well. So have a think about it. You wanna start off with at least 10 people, really, if you can do. So that's your challenge for today. Second thing I want to talk about is making sure that you've got some guidelines. And I learned this one the hard way. The amount of times I was rejecting um, guest blogs because they didn't quite fit the you know, fit the criteria that I was after. And if you wanted to know an example of what guest blog guidelines or guest blog rules want to be, have a look in the show notes just below. Uh, and I'll put a link in there to mine. So you can, you can copy that if you want to. I'll let you off that, no problem. Calendar of dates. This is really, really important. You know, if you say to someone, will you guest blog for me? And they go, yeah, yeah, no problem at all. Then it never actually happens and you have to chase people for it. If you give them a deadline, give them a date, set up a calendar for a whole year, then that works an absolute treat. And then the best thing of doing it is the next one, set up some email signatures so that you can just select from the email signatures just to chase them. So chase them two weeks before and chase them the week before. And I guarantee you'll get a much better turnaround of people producing content for you. So we've just put our guest blog strategy together for 2016. We've asked people to commit to at least three dates throughout the whole of the year. And it just works an absolute dream. Next thing, always send the link to the author when it's live on your site. The reasons for doing that is A, it's just a nice thank you saying, yay, it's live, have a look at this link. The other thing we want to do is make sure that they share it as well with their social media channels. Don't force people to do that. You know, just be thankful that they've actually written some content for you. Um, But if they can share that with the audience, then that works out brilliantly as well. Most people tend to do that. But don't forget as well to share it with your social media channels. And I'm gonna talk about putting your old content into a thing called, we use a thing called Meet Edgar, which is a social media management tool. That works absolutely brilliantly. If you're not using Edgar yet, then shout me. I've got a video, again, I'll put the link to how Meet Edgar works in the show notes below. Anyway, that's me done for another day, talking about guest blogging strategy. Don't forget to subscribe, click the button. I don't know if it's over here or down there or wherever it is, but click subscribe and I'll see you next time. Take care, bye-bye.